Hey guys, welcome to another YouTube video. Um, this video is a bit different than normal, clearly. First of all, my face cam's on, you get to see what I look like. Which, not the first time, but it's not very often. Um, secondly, this isn't going to be as organized or as well planned or thought out as my other video guides, mainly because this is supposed to be a quick update kind of thing and not really a the usual high quality like guide videos you can expect from me. Um, the main reason for that is because, well, first of all, this video is related to the DR and Invasion reworks that happened about three-ish weeks, maybe a month ago in Black Desert. And I don't want to commit the time to update the full high quality guide at the moment because the changes haven't been out for very long. MPA could very well still make changes and balance updates for all of the DR changes and evasion reworks and all that stuff. So I don't want to put a bunch of effort into making a massive guide again. And then suddenly they rebalance things and it's completely different. So for now, we're talking about everything that the guide I made before uh, is incorrect with it. the things that have changed, things that have been updated. So anything that I don't mention in this video, you can assume that's still exactly how it was in the old Awakened Wizard PvP guide. So if you have questions or are curious about how certain things work with the class and I don't mention in this video, it is more than likely that those things were discussed in the previous guide and they're still relevant and correct. Um, I will also have a link to that guide in the description below. So if you want to go check that out right now or after the video, um, please go ahead. That guide is super well organized and there's timestamps for everything you can possibly want. So you don't have to sit around and wait to see the thing you want. You just skip to exactly what you want. I will also have timestamps on this video to talk, show like the different things that have changed, but we're going to get into it. So I have a list on a notepad on my other monitor over here of everything that's changed and needs to be updated. So the first thing that has changed, obviously with the DR and evasion reworks is DR as a stat. Um, with how it was updated and changed, DR is actually as tanky as evasion was before the changes the r and evasion are about the same effectiveness in terms of like being a tanky stat now a lot of people have cried evasion is bad it's not good anymore that's not true evasion is still very strong and arguably is still even a little more tanky than dr if you have enough of it um so that being said, you could still do DR or evasion with wizard. As always, I'm always the advocate of DR. I just like having more AP. I feel like it just scales better and synergizes better with wizard's kit. It's just a preference thing. You could totally do evasion still if you want to, but as a DR player, um, most of the stuff I can talk about in terms of how effective and changes that have come up because of the changes um, are going to be on the DR side of things. Um, so that's the first thing, is DR is like crazy tanky now. The second thing is that with that DR, um, you're going to want to hit under your My Stats window. So I know this says 592, but that's because I'm not, I don't have any buffs on right now really other than just like a few random ones. When you're full buffed, the stat point you want to aim for is 670 DR. At that point, you will feel extremely tanky. Um, and you just, you can take so many people beating on you with 670. It's crazy. It's nuts. So that's the DR value you want to be at. Along with that DR value, when it comes to AP, because obviously with the tankiness everyone has, you need more AP to punch through it. You want to be able to hit around 800 total AP. Um, and that's, you know, don't forget to include your add-ons and your buffs with that. Now, the build I'm running right now doesn't hit that. I don't have enough gear to hit those values. So you can see what I'm running here. This is this is my current PvP setup, minus, obviously, like I said, all the buffs, elixirs, and the add-ons not active and all that. With all of my buffs actives and my add-on active, I do hit basically 670 DR. I think it's like give or take like a couple DR points. Um, and my AP goes up to like 730, 740. So I'm still missing quite a bit of AP. 
but I, in my opinion, I value the DR more than the AP. I like to stay alive longer rather than do more damage if I had to choose between the two. Obviously, if I swap my crystals around and some other things, I could very easily hit 800 plus AP in PvP AP, but that's just not what I'm going for with my build that you see right now. This is what I run at the moment, but if you are curious um, about what I would suggest aiming for as end game, um, this is what I'm looking at for end game. Six, that's right, six Debos. With six Debos, you can hit 653DR. Th these are the buffs that I use when I PvP. So if you want to see how I'm getting these stats, this is where it's coming from. Um, and then, so 653 plus the 20 from your add-on. You will have a DP add-on active if you're following my guide for add-ons in the previous guide video. Um, so with that 20 DP, you will hit 670 DR, which is what you're aiming for. And your total PVP AP is 779. That's without the add-on active. So with the add-on, you're going to be at like 794 or something, which honestly, I mean, six AP is a difference, but it's close enough. You're going to be doing a lot of damage. So this is definitely what I suggest aiming for. Um, the only difference that you might be able to make here, um, which you might have thought about, is putting a Disto instead of... So you'd have five Debos plus a Disto, and that obviously adds the more AP, but you do lose six DR. Um, I don't know what's more important, the AP or six DR. It's like... It's, two, it's literally two AP. So I don't know if you value 2 AP or 6 DR. On my mind, I prefer the 6 DR. So that's why I went with um, the Debo earring instead of the Disto. But that, just keep that in mind. That's a swap you can make if you want to. So the next thing that's changed is Magic Shield. And Magic Shield itself hasn't really changed at all, really. It's the exact same skill. There's been no buffs or nerfs to it. It's just because of all the stats that have changed around it that it has changed kind of how effective it is. And basically the quick version is it just it's a lot stronger now. And that's because you take less damage, which means you drain less mana overall, just because you're tankier. And because you're draining less mana by default, because everyone got so much tankier, what ends up what that ends up meaning is if you remember from the old PvP guide, or not old, but the previous guide, uh, mind focus, the lightstone set, was pretty much the best in slot for wizard because of well the dr plus all that extra mana which enabled magic shield to not just instantly tank your mana pool whenever you get in a fight but now with how tanky you are i've found that if you can hit that 670 dr bracket that breaking point you actually don't need mind focus anymore you take so little damage at that point that your mana's regeneration with your mana potion along with anything else that regens mana like skills stuff like that will just keep your mana pretty healthy like it doesn't mean it, it's impossible to drain your mana fully in a fight it doesn't happen enough anymore to require mind focus as a lightstone set to make it function so basically it's something you mess with because some people like depending on how aggressively you play maybe you still need mind focus because you're just taking that much damage you're tank you're diving that many people all the time but if you play how i play and you follow the guide on how to dive and engage and all that stuff um how i explained it you really don't need it anymore which is a good thing because you can take all of that mana and ignore it and now you can get a more useful set for feeling tanky right so there's two sets that i've been messing with the sets that i've been messing with are rigid shield so this is rigid shield if you guys don't know what it is it just gives you a bunch of dr i mean how much is that that's 12 that's 30 dr plus i also have dr artifacts as well for an extra six so I'm getting 36 DR by putting this set on. This is ins an insane amount of DR. Basically, I get over... 
what is it over 700 dr when i put this on i get so fucking tanky it's ridiculous um the other option which is the one i've found to be more effective and i think i like it better is untouchable this is the untouchable set and it just gives you special attack evasion a bunch of dr and a bunch of hp and I'm running HP artifacts with this. Um, I'd obviously like to replace these HP artifacts with Kabuas because they give more HP, but I don't have the excess Kabuas to be able to, you know, put them in. But so that's what I'm running right now. But yeah, so those are the two artifacts I would recommend um, along with the fact that Magic Shield, again, isn't as detrimental. Obviously, it's still an amazing skill. It's huge, stronger than ever because of how tanky everyone is now. You don't take nearly as much of a mana drain. So keep that in mind, that's another change. Um, the next thing that's changed, isn't really something that changed with the DR rework, but it changed kind of around the same time and I figured like I'd include it in this video. And that's that you're in capped PVP, so capped no wars and stuff. Um, the gear has changed and that's because, as you can see, if I search Chimera, oops, that's not how you spell Chimera. If you search Chimera, no results. Chimeras and Kaya necklaces, they're gone. They got deleted from the game. They don't exist anymore. So obviously that means you just wear your normal gear now. There's no like special accessory you can use to like work around the AP caps or the damage caps. You just gotta wear your normal gear now in capped PvP. So just keep that in mind. Don't freak out if like you watch that guy and you're like, wait, where are these Chimeras and Kayas? They just, they don't exist anymore. And the guy just needs to be updated. So that's one thing. Uh, we're getting towards the end here. We got two more things to talk about. So the next thing is the main hand on Awakening Wizard has completely been fixed. Well, fixed. I don't even know if it was a bug or an oversight. Who knows? PA didn't really say. But essentially, if you guys remember, I've talked about how when you unlevel your skills from Absolute on your main hand, right, it loses the PvP damage reduction. Look what happened. They fixed it. They added the same damage reduction value to both levels. So you see absolute fireball damage minus 44%. Fireball explosion three, one level down from absolute, it's 44%. And that's true for basically every skill. As you can see, 30%, 30%. Um, what else? I think earthquake, 40%. Yeah, 40%, 40%. Even meteor did it, has it gotten hit. So you have to see 40%. And 40%. So basically, you might as well just keep change everything to Absolute. Absolute is going to be your best option for PvP. Um, except Meteor. That, that's the important thing. Meteor is still want to unlevel it. And that's because thankfully, Meteor retained its super armor when you unlevel it. So you see on Absolute, right? It only has forward guard. And then unleveled, it still has super armor plus the forward guard. So the unleveled version is just going to be better in PVP because it's fully protected. It means you can't really get punished for it as easily. So that's the only one that's remaining the same. Everything else though, after this change, you just want to have it all to absolute um, because PA decided that they wanted our skills to do less damage for some reason. So essentially it is a nerf to our main hand almost in its entirety. It sucks, whatever. We move on, right? Uh, but yeah, just remember to keep Meteor unleveled because the super armor forward guard is just, it's that strong. And the last thing we're gonna talk about here is the how to engage segment of the video. So the how to engage segment of the wizard guide has changed a bit. How you engage with this class is mostly the same, but with the newfound tankiness that you have, um, and if you watch my stream at all or anything in the future, like a video, You'll probably notice I'm a lot more willing to get in the middle of the fight now. I don't play on the edges of the balls as much anymore. Um, that was something I really focused on in the PvP guide was in Node Wars and large scale, you just kind of want to fight on the outskirts of the fights. And that's still kind of true. That's still where you're really going to be the strongest. But you can definitely push it a bit more now with how tanky you are. Um, you can get a lot more in the middle of the fight which is useful because it means you can help people out more, you can throw a little more damage, you'll be hitting more people at once, and you'll be in a bit of a better position to heal people around you if you need to use your Rabam heal or any of your heals because there's just more people around you on your team. Hopefully, if they're all diving with you, because that's what they should be doing, you shouldn't be the only one diving. Um, 
but yeah so just that's just like a small change to the engage segment which again we'll talk about that whenever i actually update that pvp guide but yeah so just be more willing to get in the middle of the fight you don't have to be as on the edge of the fights anymore um that's basically everything that's changed with the dr evasion reworks um it's not an insane amount of the guide that it's outdated but it's enough to warrant me wanting to make a new one so obviously we kind of informally went over everything in this video um i will at some point in the future release a new video guide that updates everything in a much more organized and formal fashion with examples and all the clips and stuff that you guys are used to me doing in my video guides um like i said i just want to wait to see if pa changes anything or rebalances it because it's still kind of a recent change i probably want to give it at least another month month and a half before i think about doing a new video guide because i feel like hopefully by that point if they see something wrong they're going to balance it um but that's basically going to be the video guys um if you watch this long you know thank you for watching i really do appreciate it i hope that these updates help you kind of figure out how to play the class after all these changes that have happened um and as always if you guys like this video you know feel free to check out my other ones and you can check me out over on twitch at twitch.tv slash blue sky 900 which will be linked in the description below as well if you would like to check that out that's where i stream four days a week and i'm always happy to answer questions and help people out um super happy to do it so thank you for watching guys have a great rest of your days and i'll catch you in the next one